Amado sa Zina ye Ezra chapter 50 verse 11 Bible says who is like unto thee O Lord among the gods who is like thee glorious in holiness fearless in praise doing wonders who is like unto thee Hallelujah somebody there's a servant in here I don't know about any change that held you any change that was a problem any change that was a pain in the family, in your marriage, in your life, any chain that hold you or catapulted you in 2020, those chains are broken. Remember, Samson was very, very anointed. Bible said he was born to come and be a deliverer for the people of Israel because the Philistines were attacking and they were beating them. And Bible said before he was born, there was a prophecy about him that he was going to be very great. You yourself, listening to me, before, before you were born, there had been a word that had gone forth. It had been a planting. If not, you wouldn't be here alive. And we know that your being here is not in vain. But there is something significant about your being alive on this earth. If something was born to deliver the people of Israel, and if he was born great, and if it was a prophecy before he was born, the prophecy about you wasn't to bring you into desolation, wasn't to bring you into shame and disgrace, but the prophecy about you is also to pick you up, to make you great. Hallelujah, somebody. When you read Judges chapter 15, verses 9 down, Bible said the Philistines went up to the camp in Judah, spreading out in Lehi. And Bible said that the people of Judah asked them, why have you people come here to fight us? Have you come to fight us or what? They said, we have come to take some Samson prisoner, they answered to do to him as he did to us. Child of God, you see, Bible say he was born to be great. Something there was a prophecy before he was born that he was going to be great. And there's somebody that was born to come and deliver the people of Israel. How come this person had they have come to take him in prison? Does it make sense to you? <laughs> you are born great, but you are going to be locked up in prison. That means you're going to be, 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 be under control of someone. You're going to be under the subjection of someone. You're going to be, 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 be yearning to people's command. Hallelujah. But Bible said that then 3,000 men from Judah went down to the cave. 3,000 men in the rock of Etam and said to Samson, don't you realize that the Philistines are rulers over us? <laughs> and, have you, and, 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 and what have you done to us? And Bible said he answers, I merely did to them what they did to me. And they said to him, we've come to tie you up and hand you over to the Philistines. And Samson said, look, I'm not afraid of the Philistines, but you swear to me, swear <laughs> to me that you won't kill me yourself. So you see, the attackers that are coming cannot kill you. But the people around you. So I'm going to tell you something. Remember in the Bible, in the book of Acts chapter 12, they put Peter in prison to kill him by Herod. And the Bible says that an angel appeared there. And immediately the angel appeared. I'm talking about the angel of the Lord. When he appeared in the prison, the Bible said they changed on Peter's hands and legs without any key. But somewhere, somehow, the chains that held him in captivity, all the chains fell off. I prophesy that you might be nobody. You might be ordinary. You might be nothing. But I can see anointing coming upon you. The anointing that will break you. The anointing that will break chain. I can see power coming upon you. I can see chains are broken. Hallelujah, somebody. I can see chains are broken. Hallelujah, somebody. When you read the book of John chapter 12, verse 40, the Bible says, I have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. He has come. He said, I have come into the world as a light so that no one who believes in me stays in darkness. Whatever darkness you are in, I see the power of God coming to take you out. Ah, Maybe, maybe you're, you're out of power. That is why the house is full of dark. But look, I see power coming. I see power transforming into your home. There shall be light. There shall be light. 2021. There shall be light. You shall walk in light and not in darkness. Anyone that is battery is dead, your battery will be changed in the name of Jesus. Christ of Nazareth, hallelujah, you will gather all that has been scattered since the of age, since of your generation, since of last year, whatever that you gather that has been scattered, you shall gather. All I can tell you is cry no more. Cry no more. There's a promise from above to you. So why cry? When you look at Zechariah chapter, chapter 17 or chapter 1 verses 17, the Bible said that proclaim further Hallelujah, somebody. Proclaim further. 
this is what the lord almighty says my towns will again overflow with prosperity look your home will again overflow with prosperity your family will again overflow with prosperity you you will say bible said the blessing of the lord make it man ah, <laughs> the blessing of the lord make it man rich or not your work not your finances <laughs> but somewhere somehow prosperity will overflow again in your home and bible said and the lord will again comfort zion and choose jerusalem there the lord will choose you even if your job did not choose you if your family did not choose you if your friends did not choose you among the wise the lord will choose you again hallelujah somebody when you read Zechariah chapter 1 verse 19 bible says that look i asked the angel who was speaking to me what are these the bible said he answered me that these are the horns that scattered judah israel and jerusalem this shall be your story it shall be your story it shall be your story all that has been started you shall gather for the glory of god to be seen hallelujah somebody you are blessed and your chains are broken i pray that anointing of the lord that breaks yokes will break every yoke and every burden upon you be lifted in the glorious mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth you are blessed in 2021 you shall walk in blessing 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 prosperity shall call your name in the name of Jesus, God bless you. This is Silver Nino. I love you and have a blessed day.